Hi, my name is Sal Fernando. I'm the Chief Architect for EMC South Asia. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, virtualization and cloud computing. The first thing to understand is uh, that cloud computing is not something for the long-term future. It actually exists today. Most organizations have some form of cloud technology, i.e. you can go home or get on an airplane or go to the airport and log on to your email system and you don't care where your email is coming from but you're able to access it. That is in fact a private cloud. So most organizations have a mechanism to deliver cloud computing to their users. Now unfortunately it's very expensive. So a lot of companies are saying, how can I have this hosted somewhere where I pay for an SLA and I get what I pay for and I don't have to worry about building infrastructure, buying software, hardware and the knowledge to maintain this cloud. Now to do this, you need virtualization. Virtualization is a means of ensuring that you can deliver service levels. Uh, applications get the performance they require, applications get the CPU they require to be able to function. And then you can actually change that as you go, meaning when an application doesn't need performance, you allocate that performance to another application. So companies who are providing cloud-based services uh, to you, the consumer, are looking to get the most out of the infrastructure they buy so they don't have the costs associated uh, with the clouds that you've built for yourself. EMC introduces our VMAX technology. We're very, very excited. Finally, storage catches up with server virtualization and with switch virtualization. What's been missing for organizations who are doing virtualization, and that's nearly everyone, is that the storage needs to keep up with where an application uh, may reside. Currently, whilst the tools exist, they're mainly manual. So, for instance, if you're moving an application from one server to another, how do you guarantee that the data that that application needs moves with that application? Currently, uh, your administrators have to do that. You either replicate it, you mirror it, and ensure that it's at the place that it needs to be. Now, this is fraught with danger because there's human intervention, uh, and of course, there is latency, so you might not be able to move the application as quickly as you want. What VMAX does is it follows the application. So the data associated with a virtualized application will actually go with the application to where it needs to go so the application can be provided to the user with absolutely zero downtime. So in the current world uh, of storage in a virtualized environment, you talk about 3.9s, 4.9s, 5.9s, uh, VMAX is 24 by 7 forever. That means the user sees no downtime and the data is guaranteed to be where it needs to be to provide virtualization uh, for your users. The problem this VMAX technology is solving is one of reliability. So users and administrators don't have to manually uh, move the data around. And of course, one of uh, utilization. Currently, in the physical world, if you run out of um, storage capacity or server capacity, uh, with VMware you add more processes and you have more server capacity. With the storage technology, you have to add more hardware. And the hardware doesn't talk to each other. So you have to worry about replicating the data between one piece of hardware to the other or actually migrating your hardware. And these days, we can't afford the time taken to do that. So VMAX is modular with its build-out capabilities as soon as you keep on plugging new VMAX engines, the storage pool becomes a part of the original storage pool and they act as one storage pool for your whole virtualized environment. So no migrations and you can grow ad infinitum. Of course, uh, if your utilization levels shrink, the uh, applications can have the data that's connected to them shrink as well automatically so other applications can use it. So it's build out as well as build up capabilities that enable you to set and forget your VMAX environment. The ideal users, that's an interesting question. Uh, this is high-end technology for organizations that are having immense growth in applications, in switch ports and in storage. So the build-out capability is critical for an application that's starting to virtualize today and is going to virtualize hundreds if not thousands of applications and have hundreds if not thousands of connections to this VMAX engine. So this technology is for the high-end commercial and enterprise customer. VMAX technology is revolutionary, it's not evolutionary. 
So uh, when we talk to our analysts and, and partners and customers about this, they say, you know, this is storage virtualization. Yes. Well, it, yes, it is. But what this storage virtualization provides is virtualization out of the box. The virtualization is built into the storage. So with competitive solutions and EMC solutions in the past, you've been able to virtualize your environment, but it involved you re-engineering your whole um, uh, environment, uh, plugging in new technology that in some cases in the competitive world uh, gets in your data path and affects the performance of your applications. EMC has been a software company for a long time, meaning uh, it's the software that brings value and benefit to the storage that we sell. So we decided in 2002 to start creating a virtualized storage environment where the storage is virtualized inherently inside the storage. And this is revolutionary. No other um, uh, vendor has this technology without having to affect performance or build new infrastructure into your existing environment to provide the functionality. Uh, what else is different is the policies. So you can set a policy that's automated to understand how applications are behaving in your environment, then automatically move those applications and the storage related to those applications uh, seamlessly with zero downtime to the storage whose performance is commen commensurate with what the application needs. So that is a key differentiator. This is not virtualization in the switch. Uh, this is not uh, virtualization in the host. This is inherent virtualization and this is revolutionary technology that we've been building since 2002 and we believe that we are going to take the market by storm.